and then I have childcare on top of the mortgage. Mm. And I've been looking to sell the mortgage and pass it. Like, you know what I'm just... I'm still in my man's box room as well. Tell your man's name to me. Oh, <laughs> Darren. Don't do that to me. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop. Oh. You're scared of me. It's good. It's I'll get you back for that now. Sure you will, yeah. I will, when you least expect it. Yeah, sure you will. <laughs> Next week or something. Yeah, next week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your man to say to you Mrs. Conway? Get your hands off me. Mrs. Conway? I was supposed to save his life. And I didn't. You see, it's a game we used to, used to play for years. As kids. And it's funny, actually. So what you do is, yeah, you push somebody out into moving traffic, like the traffic is oncoming, and you push them, and just before the car hits them, you pull them back and you say, <laughs> tell your man I saved your life. Um, but I didn't, because he's uh, brown bread. Um, but he got me with a nice one earlier. You flung the life out of me, he did. <laughs> he did, I swear to God. Oh, he's an awful messer. He's an awful, awful messer. And now he's dead. And I suppose, in a way, it's my fault. Of course you killed him. You pushed him into traffic. What do you think was going to happen? Are you stupid? Stupid? Now, Mrs. Conway, there's no need for that. Name calling on the day of me best friend's funeral. Disgusting. You have some nerve showing up here. It should be you in that coffin and not him. Get out. Huh? Get out! I don't want to see your face here! You make me sick! Relax, ma, will you? It's only a game. <laughs> <laughs>